be the preacher, would you be my? What's the done, the done, done? I still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. It is your boy Zach Plays in, and we are back here on Hypixel Skyblock for another episode of Hypixel Skyblock. I am super excited for today's episode because this has been a very requested one. I'm going to be talking about the methods that I know about how to uh, get more minion slots. Honestly, it's one of the most requested topics for me to talk about and so I'm here to deliver and uh, yeah, that's what you guys have been asking for and honestly, I think it's just going to be helpful in general. I do have quite a bit of minion slots for a solo island, especially someone who works full time and also does like YouTube the other time that I'm not at work. So um, yeah, um, I mean 15 minion slots isn't that bad and I'm only 7 unique minion crafts from being uh, at my 16th minion slot. So hopefully we can hit that today too through some of the methods I'm going to show you guys. Because some of them you may know, some of them may be common knowledge, and a few of them you may not. So anyways, buckle up. Hopefully you guys are excited for today's episode. Make sure you guys subscribe to, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Uh, if you guys subscribe, I might learn how to talk, so that would be nice. But uh, leave a like on the video if you guys are excited for it. I know I am. And uh, let's get straight into another episode of Daily Hypixel Skyblock. So first, let's go over what I actually have here on my island. So if we go through our collection system, if you guys didn't know about this, in the bottom right, there's a crafted minions menu. You can click on that. It'll show you every single minion that you've ever crafted as well as what tier you actually got that minion up to. And then down here below, it says your minions limit, which is the 15 I have there, which means I have 15 minion slots unlocked and how many more you need to craft so you can unlock your next slot. So as you can see, I need to craft seven more unique minions to unlock my 16th slot, which would be uh, right now I'm at 218 minion upgrades slash unique minions uh, out of 225. So we aren't far off. I really hope we can hit this today. There is only a few minions that I am sure of. First off, we have the flower minion. Then we also have the sheep minion. So I want to get a sheep minion. Uh, that is going to be an easy one. Also, there's so many tier ones that I have as well as really low level uh, wood ones. And so we're gonna be talking about a bunch of really cool methods that I know of to try and upgrade your minions as quickly as possible. And yeah, there's actually a lot of level one minions in here that I really need to upgrade more. And sugarcane, um, like that's another one. The farming ones can be easy once you get them going. So yeah, it's, it's really interesting to just go ahead, take a minute and look through here and see what your minions have actually been upgraded to. It's kind of insightful and uh, kind of tells you some areas that you might want to work on. Like, I mean, my cobblestone minion, I don't think we're upgrading that one today. I don't even have them placed down anymore. So uh, might have to bypass that one, but it, it's good. It's at least interesting to know where I'm at with it and uh, what I can do moving forward to try and get more minion slots. So first and foremost, uh, what I recommend is definitely try and get every single minion uh, the level ones are sometimes the easiest. So like a sheep minion, I don't even think I'm far off from that. Like, let's go ahead and check our uh, mud in over here. I honestly probably have enough right now. So this might even be something that we can actually go ahead and craft right off the bat. If I go to mud, I have it unlocked sheep level one. Yep, we can actually craft it right now. So that's gonna be another one out of the way super quickly here. Let's go ahead and grab some sticks and two planks just like so. Um, yeah, so let's grab some sticks. Some planks, we need a wooden sword, of course, in the center. And then once you place that, surround it in mud in, and there we go. We have a level one sheep minion, and we are one step closer to getting our 16th minion slot. So by going through and making sure that you've actually crafted all the minions that you have unlocked, it is quite helpful. It gives you an insight of where you're at. And the next thing that you're going to want to focus on are all the level one minions you have. Like, for example, I got the slime one. But the easiest ones to upgrade are these, uh, like... I mean, uh, what you, what you call it? The tree ones. Yeah, the foraging minions are the easiest ones to upgrade. And the simple reasoning for that is a jungle axe. Jungle axes are super cheap. You can actually buy them off of auction house for really dirt cheap. Like they sell for like under 2000 coins most of the time, which is ridiculous. Just make sure you're bidding on the right one. Don't bid on one that's like 50K because you are completely getting scammed. So I don't think we're going to be trying to upgrade our oak one today. Do I even have it on me? Uh, apparently not. I don't. I have it somewhere, but it's like if I go ahead and check my collection, it's actually at where is it? Um, it's level seven right now. So I don't think we're upgrading it to level eight because I've been using all my wood for storages and such. So, uh, but wood chopping is the easiest one to go ahead and upgrade. So oak one, that should be the first one that you go ahead and upgrade. You're gonna need it in the future as well. I mean, just going and uh, getting more uh, minion storage chests for your actual minions is very helpful. Next, we have a level four one here, level four for spruce, level four for dark oak. So we're going to go straight to the acacia one. 
because it's level one it's gonna be the easiest to upgrade and it should be the most beneficial towards unlocking another slot so here we are at this uh savannah woodlands and um yeah so with your jungle axe you can actually just completely mow down through these trees especially once it's power up power up goes up so as you can see it just destroys and we already have 39 just like so acacia is one of the more annoying types of wood to actually collect due to the sh oh geez that was a uh, ear rape right there but um due to the just the like the way the trees are just shaped i guess um i mean it's really helpful that they have logs like this on the floor because that helps as well but as you can see we also just upgrade our collection for acacia wood just within seconds like this clip is so far 35 seconds long so that kind of goes to show how quickly you can actually go about and honestly we can probably already upgrade it super soon so another great way to grind for trees though if you are trying to upgrade those minions is with haste potions haste potions and a gold axe that has efficiency five will absolutely maul down through these trees so i definitely recommend that method as well if you don't have a jungle axe um or if you don't feel like splurging to get a, a jungle axe and using some of your coins i understand if you don't want to spend coins on like a jungle axe there's a you've got to be kidding me oops i think i went a little too high uh eh, eh, no Hey, we got it. Nice. I didn't even know there was a fairy soul underneath one of these trees. That's kind of cool. But yeah, it, this is like by far one of the best ways to actually go ahead and get minion slots. And it's the most recommended one that I give to uh, fans when they ask me how do I go for so many minion slots. And I haven't even done it very well myself. So uh, it kind of goes to show me a little bit hypocritical. But if you take your acacia minion, you surround it in oak just like so. I think it wants... Yeah, it only wants 20 right now around it. So as you can see, just like that, already level two, and we're on our way to level three and four comes shortly behind that. So it's super quick. I'm gonna come back once we get this thing to level four or five because it's not gonna take me too long. And I'll look at my phone now and I'll tell you how long it takes me to get there. So literally six minutes later, we have a full inventory of acacia wood minus like our tools and backpacks and whatever else we have in our backpack. But we can easily get this thing up to level four now at least. So there's level three. There is level four, and we're already well on our way to, uh, oh, I don't have enchanted acacia wood unlocked, I don't think. Uh, let me check my collection. Far oh, no, it's in forging. My bad. Um, acacia wood five. No, nope, it's at the next one. We need 300 more. Uh, but yeah, we're already well on our way to level five, actually, for this. It goes super quick, and I've been getting tons of forging XP, which has been giving me a little bit of money as well on the side. So yeah, it, it's definitely worth it. It is like one of the easiest things to do. You know, you just put on a show on your phone or on your other monitor if you uh, have one and you kind of just like farm, like farm uh, trees and stuff. It goes really quickly. It's super easy. I mean, that just took me five minutes and I unlocked three more minion slots just like that. So, I mean, I definitely recommend it. I'm probably going to go ahead and get this uh, bad boy level five. I'm gonna go grind uh, over at the jungle forest and then I'll be back after that because then hopefully by then we do have our um, Whatchamacallit our 16th minion and then we can go ahead and decide what we want to put there But this in my opinion is the best way to actually go ahead and get up your minion slots through the forging Well, you guys we did it that didn't even take too long I've been grinding jungle wood right now if we go into our collection crafted minions we have 16 minion slots and we are 25 unique minions away from our 17th and i'm oh man that's just that's so much <laughs> it's so far now it gets so much harder i can't believe people actually have like the maxed out or like are way further along than i am it's just i i don't get it i honestly don't and uh big ggs to them because uh i'm never getting there but i'm gonna try eventually so jungle wood oh i need to get to jungle wood six to uh, craft them into enchanted jungle wood. We can worry about that some other time. But yeah, we have officially gotten our 16th slot. And that was just getting an extra slot just from going and chopping down some wood for literally less than 15, maybe even 20 minutes. So that was super easy. Now it's time to talk about probably the most obvious way to go ahead and get more minion slots. And that is by focusing on them one at a time and upgrading them as far as you can. So as you can see right now, I have seven diamond minions placed down and I might be placing an 8th unless I can think of a better item to put underneath my uh, 16th minion slot. And I'm down to hear what you guys have, in, have to say in the comment section down below. If you think you have a really good idea of what I should put for my 16th minion, please let me know in the comment section down below. And actually, speaking of which, I might be, I might actually change... Oh no, there's a greater talisman bag. 
I didn't know there was a greater talisman bag. Okay, Redman Min Redstone Minion just saved his own life. He's staying for a little bit longer. We're over a fourth of the way there, so I'll just let him finish that out. And then uh, I'll uh, go ahead and get rid of him as I keep on upgrading him as well. But yeah, I'm not sure if what I want to put as my next minion slot, but the best way besides actually going out and farming that resource over and over and over again until you have enough to keep on upgrading it because for the for the higher levels, it is really not worth just sitting there and grinding. So I definitely recommend putting down at least a couple of the, that minion that you're trying to upgrade a little bit higher. So for example, though, I need to work on upgrading this because my highest diamond minion guy is only level seven. And to get him to level eight, I need two stacks of enchanted diamonds and uh, I don't think I have that right now because for my leaping sword I sold all my enchanted diamonds and enchanted diamond blocks so I only have like a stack and a little bit left of enchanted diamonds so by tomorrow I should be able to upgrade them one more time because I do also want to try and max out a diamond minion while I'm going for perfect armor again I kind of halted my progress but if we go into our ender chest we do still have the boots and the helmet i did not sell those and we were still we were only like half not even halfway towards the pants we were like a quarter of the way towards the pants so it was a minor setback for a big upgrade the leaping sword so that was very required and i have this book i'm going to try and add on but it's 158 levels so i might have to go and buy a uh, titanic bottle or do a little bit of fishing haven't decided which way i want to go there yet but yeah, by doing that, you can easily start upgrading your minions. I mean, my cobblestone minion, I just had one cobblestone minion down from when the island started. He was right back there the whole time. As you can see, the square is still cut out for him. And if you guys didn't notice before, I got to level 10, which is pretty crazy. He, it was just him by himself, and I still have some enchanted cobblestone left. I still have two stacks. So as you can see, this one little guy generated 71,190 cobblestone, which is absurd. The poor little guy was working overtime. He is level 10, and to upgrade him to level 11, I actually want to see how much that's going to cost. It's going to cost a lot. Um, level, oh my, you've got to be joking. Eight stacks of enchanted cobble. I mean, we're a fourth of the way there, so maybe that's something I work on. That would be pretty cool to have a maxed out minion, because that is eventually the goal, of course. You want to try and get every single minion maxed out so you have the most slots possible, but that's going to be, have to be something that we work on on a later date. But anyways, that's all I have time for this evening. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode of Hypixel Skyblock. If you guys did, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Go ahead and check out my Discord. We just passed 2,000 members, so thank you guys so much for the there. I'm running giveaways in there very often, and also go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'm ridiculously active on there, and I even post screenshots with you guys when I think you guys are doing something funny here on my island. So if you come up with something, go ahead and show it to me. Uh, like, I don't know. Come to my island, show it to me, and I'll probably put it on my Twitter as well. And uh, yeah, my Twitter needs a little bit of loving, guys. It's only at like 1.5k followers. I know we can bump that up. So everyone go ahead and follow my Twitter. Link will be in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one. See you guys there. Bye.